Hello, I'm Craig, and today we're going to be taking you through the new billing and subscription experience for QuickBooks Online Accountants. Now, if we take a look in this pre-production US firm, because it's a live experience in the US, we can go to the same area and see the new experience. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that there is three different tabs, account and bill subscriptions, client bill subscriptions, and billing details. Under account and bill subscriptions, you can see that we're paying $105 a month for client one and for client three, $132 a month. And if we open it up, we can see what makes up that overall monthly cost. And of course, from here, we can upgrade, downgrade or cancel. And if we go up here to the primary one, we can transfer the billing back to client. If we go into client bill subscriptions, we'll see all of the clients that we have who are not currently on wholesale billing, who are usually managing their own subscriptions. And likewise, you have billing details, which includes your billing information, a brief breakdown of your estimated monthly total, which excludes any prorated charges. So currently it's going to be $237.50 plus any taxes to my business. And of course, the billing and payment history. If we take a look at the experience when you transfer, we're here in the client account in the client four. And we'll just pop into the billing and subscription section. Perfect, so we've got the full breakdown as you expect to see. Allow billing transfer to your accountant. Confirm that this is in fact my accountant and this is my accountant's business name. And once I've clicked allow transfer, permission is valid for two days, as you can see in green. And we'll get another pop-up just to let us know. Now, if we pop back into the firm, we can now go back to client bill subscriptions. Just give this a quick refresh. You can now see that this file is eligible to be transferred to wholesale billing. And the action has changed the transfer billing to me, which we click. And this is just giving me the breakdown, including the prorated amount. And again, keep in mind, this prorated amount will not appear in the billing page. And so as you can see, client one, three and four are now on my wholesale billing. And if we take a look at the billing details, we can see three clients, my next bill date, and an estimate, which is not yet updated. Let's just give that a refresh again. And again, that estimate does not include the pro rata charges. So it's just the subscription fees. And that is the new subscription and Billing experience. Thank you and goodbye.